What's good guys? I'm back with another video. Lemonade. Ooh, tastes so sweet. Three poppies, making one for me. Yeah. Them ocean sounds. Ooh, sip slowly. Grains of glass riding on my feet. So, today's video, well, happy Wednesday. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's going to be a good one today. Um, Today is actually Friday, November 25th, the day after Thanksgiving. And I meant to record Wednesday, but I got so busy, so much was going on. I'm preparing for a uh, community service event. So, we're doing a lot. The nonprofit has me going and going and going. But um, today, I kind of wanted to talk with you guys about being intentional. Um, and this, I know for a fact, is a message for myself. But this may be a message for someone else. I don't know who I'm speaking to. I don't know who needs to hear this. But the topic of today is being intentional. And when I say being intentional, I, I mean being intentional about every single thing that you do. You want to be intentional about being a better version of yourself. You want to be intentional about how you want to be presented to the world. You want to be intentional about the passions that you pursue. You want to be intentional with God. I mean, that's the, that's the main thing. Being intentional with God, intentional in your spirit, intentional in your time that you take with God, intentional in your time that you read your Bible and you learn and you grow in your faith, right? You also want to be intentional with with your career what you're doing in your life don't just go to a job just to go to a job have a career working a job and having a career are two different things you want to be intentional in that and if, if you're in that stage in life right now that you're working a job to get to that career be intentional in that be sincere in that you know what i'm saying be intentional in your love life at this point in time i don't know what chapter you're in right now i don't know your age i don't know where, where you're standing at this very moment but it's time for you to be intentional in, in what you plan to do. You're an adult now, I'm assuming. <laughs> if you're in the stage that I'm in, you know what you want. You know what you don't want. Now is the time to say that. We, we, we are past the time of playing games and waiting forever to respond back or calling or whatever. Be intentional in that. Say what it is that you want. God, listen. You know me. I know me. This, this is you have a conversation with God because you we're working on intentions, right? You know my intentions, God. You know my heart. Take out what what what, what doesn't need to be there and input and pour into me all of the good so that I can be what you want for me to be. So that I can become better. You have to be intentional with what you're saying. God, listen, you know that I want to be a certain type of person. I want to be seen a certain way, presented a certain way that's pleasing to you, God, first. I don't care what everybody else got to say. Pleasing to you and pleasing to myself. Forget everybody else. What 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 is it that you want from me? God, listen. This is a type of man or woman, if you're a man. This is the type of man that I'm seeking if you're a woman. This is the type of woman that I'm seeking if you're a man. And God, listen. I want them to be this, 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 and this. And but God, you know me. So take me, make sure that I'm right and that I'm intentional with them and that they are intentional with me. You're going to take your time, you know what I'm saying, and be intentional with everything that you want to be. If, if, if there's a new career that you want to ensue, there's a business that you want to ensue, there's something new, lay out what it is that you want. Hey, God, listen, write it down. Make it known to yourself. Ask of God of this. God, if you see, if you see fit that I have this, put me on the path where I get to work and get to it. I just want for us to enter into our intentional chapter. Be intentional with every move that you make, every step you take, every word you say. Be positive about it. Because power does lie in the in, in the in, in the tongue. It does. What you speak, if it be so fitting of God, it's it's, it's going to happen. I, I have come into my intentional phase. I realized like I told you I was talking to a list of guys, just conversating with them. And I had to cut time. I'm like, listen, this isn't going anywhere. I know a lot of times I just hit you up because I'm bored. 
it's this with this guy and this with this guy. It's always something like, mm-mm. Because that's, that's, that's taking your focus off when you just need them being a, that You need to pick another distraction. Pick another distraction because that distraction is not getting it. If you're tired of doing work, baby girl, go read your Bible. You tired of reading the Bible because you feel like you read too many chapters and you just like, okay, God, I'm tired. You whoop my head right now. Let me take a moment. Go write in your journal. Pick, 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 pick something better. My intentions are to be a great God-fearing woman first. To serve God wholeheartedly. That there should be no doubt in anyone's mind about what I stand for and what I represent. My intentions are to be a great wife and a great mother. But in order to be those things, I have to get myself in order. And the only way I can do this is through God. And then God is going to bring me my husband. We're going to get ourselves together together. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> and grow into in God together. My intention is to be someone who helps my people build racial wealth while building, continuing to build generational wealth for my kids, right? My intention is to pour back into my community. My intention is to help my people. And in order for me to do those things, I have to be focused. I have to be determined on God first and then everything else will fall into place. I'm working so hard. So hard, so hard to 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 do these things for my nonprofit, right? Feed these people, give them what where they where they are lacking it, right? But I have to, I got to I got to make sure I'm focusing on me too. I cannot slack on what I need to do because the more I pour into God, the more I focus on bettering myself spiritually, focusing myself spiritually. The more God will pour into me to pour into the next person. And that's how it works. So we're going to focus on being intentional, right? Intentional. Saying what it is that you want. Having no shame in saying what it is you want. And going after that spiritually, emotionally, wholeheartedly. And focus on that so be it that it is within the line of what God wants you to be. So like I said, the message is on being intentional. You have to be focused. You have to know what it is that you want. Say it out out loud to yourself, to God. Listen, God, this is what I want. If, if this is where you need me to be, come on, let's do the work. I'm ready. Because we, 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 sometimes we tend to do things, do the wrong thing, and then get mad when God punishes, right? We tend to expect God to do all the work. And we're just going to just sit there and just, just, I don't know. You know what, God? I'm going to need you to do this right here. And we won't do nothing. But that ain't how God works. As, as much effort as you put into going to the club or hanging out with your friends or drinking or whatever it is that you love so much, put that same effort into God. Nothing comes without work. Nothing comes without hard work. Pour into God so that God can pour into you. You, you can't expect something. If you're not putting out something, okay, intentional. Be intentional on in what it is that you want that you that you want to go after, and 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 then put in the work for it, and watch God do the rest. That's my message for today. I'm not with past. I'm not gonna hold you long. I'm done. <laughs> I am done. I hope that this does something for someone, like it is doing something for me. This is something that's been heavy on my mind for two days now. My intentions, things that I that I set out to do, that I want to do. Questioning myself, are you? Is this really what you want to do? Is, is this your focus? Are you putting in the work? Because as long as I'm putting in the work, I'm gonna let God handle the rest of you. Gonna play out or it's not. That's that's the that's the chapter for me right now. So I hope this is something that touches you. I hope it's something that benefits you. This um will be found on. Uh, Motivational Wednesday with Jasmine Sade. Uh, this video is also going to be posted on the Young Adults Corner with TCOTLG or the Church of the Living God, Plenty of Truth. We are on YouTube as well, you guys. Please go like, comment, and subscribe and follow both channels. We'd appreciate it. Actually, you can also <laughs> go and follow my fitness channel on YouTube as well, J Styles Fitness. I know we haven't posted videos in a few in a few months, but they are coming, God willing. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have an amazing week. I hope that this message touches somebody and that you become intentional. Walk into your chapter of intentions. Have a great, great night, a great day, a great week. And I need to answer some emails. I'll see you guys in the next video.